Hello. Hi. So here's the thing. We've got an animal in our attic. We don't know what it is. So why don't you tell them about the research that you've done. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we... Depending on what animal it is. We don't know what animal it is, but we assume it's probably a squirrel. It's a common problem for people to have squirrels. The thing there. is, I heard it first. It was sort of like, well, it was outside. I was walking outside, and in the roof, I heard this. It didn't sound like a bird. It sounded like it was crawling or something, like some sort of scratching weird noise. So. So we thought, how? What are we gonna do? Should we call an exterminator? But, uh, you know, why do that? It's expensive. We could probably do it ourselves. And so. you don't learn anything from paying someone else to exactly. do things. Exactly. Exactly. So, we went out and we got a trap, a squirrel or rodent trap of some so kind. So, we're hoping it's small enough to fit in a trap. Yes. Yes. Hopefully it's not like a big old raccoon or something. Or a bear. Although, if it was a raccoon, you would just turn it into a pet. Or a hat. It would be... <laughs> Whichever, whichever comes first. Didn't you say you had a pet raccoon? I did have a pet raccoon. <laughs> she never became a hat, though. Her name, well, let's, let's not go into it's it. It's an old story. It's an old, yeah. You guess she had to be there. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to catch ourselves a squirrel. and. Um, What's the extermination methods that you would? Uh, well, I, I looked it up online, and um, there are several websites, and they pretty much, most of them recommended capturing it live, and... Um, there, there was a horrible picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe if you could, like, input that. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's your picture. <laughs> and, um, anyway... Basically, capture it live and then kill it or something. It had all kinds of advice. Well, I'll but explain. how they say to kill it? Well, they said... The most humane way... Well, the cleanest, most humane way, anyway, is drowning. You had a bucket of water and you just dunk the, tank, the, the cage in and, uh... Gulp, you know? Drowning. Oh, I drowned once, but it's... I yeah, know, you died. Story. Yeah. Um, from the dead. But uh, I said that the best way would be to poison it, you know, feed a rat poison because... After it's caged or... Yeah, after it's caged. Yeah. Because then you know where the body is and uh, if I were dying, I'd rather be disoriented and kind of have it be a peaceful, like, delicious death. Ultimately, though, I mean, the thing about poison Probably is... gonna drown the motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we now? It says start captured. Is that doing it? D did you yeah, click yeah, on it? Yeah, it's good. Yes. It's good. Cool. Okay. All right. So we heard, well, Hank heard noises, and we're going to check and see if we've caught something new in the, in the cage. Okay. <laughs> Do you see it? I see him. It's a squirrel. It is? <laughs> it sure as hell is. <laughs> alright, alright. Is um, he in the cage? Yeah. Here we have our first capture. Hopefully the only one that we'll need. Hello little fella. Better view. I wonder if there's more if that's the only one. Oh my gosh. What? Is he crazy? Yeah, he is. You think he's got rabies? He's panicking. I don't know. He probably doesn't have rabies. But he probably has some kind of disease. He's developing one right now. What? <laughs> he's developing. heart attack. And... Oh yeah, heart disease. <laughs> okay, alright. Then Hank found this bucket just lying around that's the perfect size to drown it in. Yes, I certainly did. Pretty disgusting water, but I guess if it's going to die, it won't really care if it's clean or not. So, little guy, you got any last words? Don't drown me! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's, that was me. No, what he's saying, 
send me to my pleasant watery grave. Yes, yes. <laughs> Finally, I get to go to squirrel heaven. Yeah, this life isn't, this life isn't what he wanted. This is just nasty water. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Did you hear those noises he's making? <laughs> yeah. He'll be sick with rabies. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he does have rabies. So. Maybe he's calling his squirrel friends to come. <laughs> <laughs> that looks about deep enough. Oh my goodness. It smells terrible. Well, that's all right. I swear it's going to be like the last scene of Terminator 2. Do, 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 you know, lower him into the right. Yeah, you gotta do it slowly. Okay. Don't worry, my little friend. It will all be over soon. I'm doing this, but I'm really going to make Jeremy actually free the trap because I don't want to get rabies. And Oh, that was really nice. I'm glad he got to live in a better home. Cause I 200 think miles away? Yeah. So is it, yeah, it's about 200 miles away. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that's the end of the, uh, Harold adventure. Come back with a knife. 